Welcome to the General Task Information Overview. It is important to know where certain information is stored and how to update it when needed. Throughout this video we will learn where to locate the General Task Information and how to update it. If the user is unable to update it in the screens that we will be in, they will learn where the task information is being pulled from. To access the general task information, the user will select the task from their My View page or Search Results page. This will open the control sheet. The general task information is the first thing the user sees. The general task info is divided into four sections. Client information. Task information. Due dates and miscellaneous. The client information is pulled from your CCH Access Workflow client database. Any updates to these fields should be made within the utilities. Changing client information or any task identifiers from the control sheet will cause the deliverables and the sign-offs to reset. In some instances, the checklist and staffing info to reset as well. If you integrate with CCH Practice Management, these fields will update based on your Practice Management database and the fields that you have mapped to workflow. Within this screen you are unable to make any update to the client info. The task info is mostly filled out when creating a task. When a new task is added, the user will be prompted to choose the type of task, the period and date, and to add a description if needed. The description field can be edited within this view as well. However, this field is a task identifier similar to client name, task type, and period and date. If the user attempts to create a task where all the task identifiers are identical to an existing task, workflow will not allow a duplicate task to be created. In this type of situation, a description can be added to decipher between the tasks. To quickly identify within any of the views within workflow that a task is easy or difficult, users can select the task's level of difficulty here. The scale is 1 to 5. 1 being very difficult and 5 being easy. It is recommended for firms to have an internal process with updating the difficulty level. To quickly identify within any of the views in workflow that a task is a high or low priority, users can select the priority level here. This drop-down has three options. L, for low. N, for normal. And H, for high. It is recommended for firms to have an internal process with updating the priority. Users can set up a manual reminder for a projected task start date or restart date. By clicking on the field, a calendar will appear, and the user can choose their project start or restart date. This is a valuable field if users are using Workflow Scheduler. The due date for the standard tax returns will automatically attach to the task when created. Users cannot edit the due date within the field. To make any changes to this field, the user will need to go into the deliverables section to add any deliverables slash due dates they would like to track. The due date is populated with the earliest due date out of the deliverables that have been added to the task. The due dates for the task specific deliverables can be edited through the add deliverables section. However, the due dates for the firm specific deliverables cannot be altered here and need to be done through the create deliverables utility. The anticipated delivery date is an internal due date that can be set up by a user. It is recommended to have a firm-wide policy of how this will be used. If the user has an A and A department, this is where they can track the date where the audit is released and published. Software is where the user can select the appropriate tax software used by their firm to prepare the task or other service. There are populated softwares when you click on the field. Please note you cannot add or edit this list. Info date is where the user can track the date of client acceptance of the client engagement letter. The do not rollover box will allow the user to mark the task to not rollover manually or automatically. Comments is where the user can type any comments that are specific to the task. If the task is rolled over, the user has the option to bring forth the comments to the newly created task. Or they can leave them with the original task. This is unlike the description field that is carried forward regardless of what settings you choose during rollover. When making any changes to the general information, make sure you click on Save to lock down all changes that have been made. Within Workflow the general task information is shown within the My View page and the user can see all the columns we just walked through. This grid is the same within the Advanced Search and Quick Search. This concludes this video tutorial on the general task information.